Welcome back to Factorio, make a base of the book. My name is Nilaus and we are continuing on this uh, rather grand project of uh, changing to train by train to train smelting. Uh, what I've done sort of between sessions, I built this one in the last episode and we built this one between sessions just so that we're, as I promised that I would do that. So now we have two modules here of three, 723 per second. Yes. And which is actually twice as much as any of the old ones here as long as they keep going so what i've also done is just mark these for deconstruction uh, i mark this one for deconstruction and this one should also be marked for deconstruction because this needs to be so the the plan is anything that's up here has to be converted into uh, the new builds such as that one and that one anything that's down here has to be converted from iron to steel so that basically i'll move my steel production down here also because I'm starting to run out on some of these patches. For example, this one, if we can convert this, I don't even know if it's worth converting, but uh, it might be, it might actually be worth just changing it up just a bit. Uh, but this one, for example, this can easily support what I need in, if if I set it up correctly or set it up a bit better than this. So what we uh, want to do is uh, we want to also take this part here and start converting it into the better modules i have moved this space over so what i really want to do is i want to de deconstruct this part uh this one is empty so uh, that shouldn't be too much of an issue i'll just deconstruct this i will also deconstruct this one but not yet because there's already like well there's only nine thousand there and there's thirty five thousand. we're probably going to run out of steel at some point so what i want to do is i want to set that one up so that we have that being created here again. And this will be the next location to set up for iron production. But I now need to, I feel I need to produce more steel. Not quite sure, but I feel I need to produce more steel. So this one is a good one. Nah, it's actually too good. This is a good candidate. Uh, you are, what are you up to? Why is this? Oh, right. It's for some reason 31,000. So one of these is not correct. I'll just send it off. And it's okay. So that is uh, this is empty. So what I can also do is I can also start deconstructing this part here and this part here. I think it's easier just to kill all of this and then reestablish that one afterwards. Yes. And into this area, I'll build that. And then it's time for our spider trans to also go down here and start cleaning that out. Uh, this cannot be changed yet. So this is also... So this will need to be a new steel facility. Just the old style, but that's fine because we have it. Uh, this one also needs to be converted into steel, so I've taken it out. And this part, I'd like to really convert it into a new facility. I think we can do that by just taking... Oh, if I take these out, then it's going to be disruptive of that, but... Maybe that's kind of okay. This is getting removed pretty quickly. I'd also really like to remove this part because it's nev not going to be used anymore. I can also remove... I can actually remove all the inner parts here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. We want to just remove as much as possible that we can remove. And we will then get a that one in between so that it can reestablish that. This is also probably not how we want to do it moving forward. This kind of location will actually be changed to a T intersection that way because it'll go over here and then up. So I need to make sure that I have. Hmm, I don't even know what how much I need to remove for this, but let's remove that part. Not this, though. Again, all of this is trying to do things as I don't know. Um, you can both say as quickly as possible, but also trying to do it in the smoothest possible way there. And this part up here. That is definitely way too fine. There we go. Once this is removed, it's good. This is moved, it's good. And my spider trance here, that will remove this part. And that will then be reset up as a we can take this out because it doesn't serve any purpose anymore. Actually, did I need to take that out? Um, let's see if I can actually build. 
this part in here? I don't think so. If I can... Nah, it's way too small. So that has to be uh, redone as a steel facility, which we have down here. So I'm just going to take one of these steel facilities. Is it... Uh, it's actually exactly the steel facility I just deleted that I needed. This one, though. This one actually looks exactly like I want it, doesn't it? Except for the radar location. But if I put it here, I can take that one out and then I can plop it in there. Remove that. And that should actually be good to go. Because then I need to just rebuild this part. And I need to make sure that I get seven lines out of this somehow. Come on, Spider Zones, you can do this. You can definitely do this. There we go. That's kind of why I, that's why I pay you the big bucks. And we need a setup here. So what do we need for this? I think I if I do it this way, that's gonna be four, five, six lanes in total. That's not really a lot of lanes I can I can build. Definitely not enough. But if I do it this way, then I can I mean I'm just wondering how I'm most easily going to get at least eight lanes out of this. I guess the easiest is to find a location here and then deconstruct it from our previous build. That part is the unit and then that part is the unit and that part is the unit. I think. Good. Rebuild it up here. Nope. Uh, this one. here and here and then on the other side there and also right so okay we're getting a lot of attacks in here that i think it's because our pollution is starting to work better or uh, work better uh, that is good. Okay, I can I can also take this out. I want to do all of these things at once. And I have to take these two out as well. And I think that's going to leave enough room for this build. Let's try it. Because if I have enough build for room for this, yes, perfect. Good. And I also just copied this one just for trial purposes, but that's going to be great. Uh, you will need to go out and you'll need to go out so I can build this in a proper manner. Uh, this is going to be great. It could even be even bigger, but I think we'll kind of settle for this size for now. Damn, this is going quick when uh, when I'm building it like this. Uh, what's important is... Is that important? I don't know. That one. That one. There. I'll cut this one so it doesn't get started just yet. Don't want it to get started just yet. I need to, to make sure that we have these things. And down here, this is being built. Okay. Interesting. And I need to consolidate some lanes. I have one, two, three, four, five, six lanes. So that needs to... I still tap because I think I'm next to it. I am not. Here, that needs to be four lanes on either side, so that means I just need to convert. Take the list. This lane converts, or my uh, gets connected like that, and that gets connected like this, and then I have four lanes outbound. That will be here. Two, three, four. Wrong way. And on the other side, I'll do exactly the same. And that will be probably this is the closest we can get it down. Oh, that's a... Is that an unfortunate place? We'll, we'll take this on out anyway. Oh, that was bad. Okay, never mind. It is what it is. That one.
Okay, so now I need to get the 8x8. That's here. That 8x8 goes... Can I get it here? Is that enough space? One, two, three... It's, it's enough. Good. That means it can actually be above the rubber port. That one. And I can take this part. And then I... Oops. I don't want to... I can flip it like this. And all that goes out. Ah, still not... There. And I can then rebuild that one in here. Good. And I will build here. So that's done. You'll go up here. That actually looks like it is working. So with this one built, then all we need is somehow we didn't get any power in here. That's weird. Uh, that. Well, when that one gets placed, then it'll get it'll get the power in here. Or we could also just make it another power pole like that. Wow, that did not even work. There we go. And also like that. More. There we go. Now this is building and we should be getting all of it working and you're standing here. So it's actually pretty damn quick that we built this. Except it's not working because there's a little glip down here. That's okay. Get that. And this one is building-ish. As long as we have all of that, it's actually okay. Is there anything that isn't covered? Yeah, there's a tiny bit in there that isn't covered. All right. All right, all right. That looks good. And let me just do the ghost scan here. Any ghosts? Nope, no ghosts. You go to this location. Oh, is this done now? You have nine point something and you have three point something. So this one's completely dead. So let's get rid of that. And this part and this part. And this part should have been just a turn. Damn. I uh, don't know if that's good. I will also be building here. Yeah. So that goes up here. That one has to get the same treatment. But then this now means that I'm getting steel built again. That's good. And I will be building up here. You need to go to this location and just build the last bits here. And I will at the same time. Mm, I'll take this. This line needs to go in. Yeah, see, that's the problem. These ones are starting to be really annoying that they are here. That's a lot of locomotives or trains I have here. And then we'll get the other part. That will be this one. Which, again, we'll need to take some of this out. Yeah, just take it out at this point. I'm not sure these are the right places to build it, so we'll just take them out for now. Oh, no. There. And spider trunks, build it. Build whatever isn't built already. And these need to now be changed to three. And I think that I also have to do some bit of explanation as this one comes along. And also this one has to be three. And the explanation, I'll get to that in a second. Great. So what uh, I feel like I need to explain is why do I have to have different set of outputs from this location as I do from this location, for example. Now, the reason is that this location is requesting a train in 
when it is available to load while the other ones are requesting a train all the time they always want a train parked here and those are basically different train patterns and if i start split mixing those up then like how am i where am i going to send the trains am i going to send them in here or am i going to send them in there it, it's it might kind of work but i just don't want to mix up the two train systems uh, and then gradually I'll want to transition out of those, the old system and into the new system. Uh, this one is still working. That's really weird. How much do you have? You have, I have 41,000. Okay. And this one has not enough. So this just waits for that one to be summoned out. That means we are not in any kind of critical situation with regards to that. Oh, can I just go this way? Like, there's definitely something here that isn't getting built. Oh, they are. They are. Okay. But maybe that was just barely out of range for Roboports. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's now that the Roboports have been deconstructed or discontinued here. Then I'm going to go back to that and get all of that. And I think that's now time to go here. We're going to start sending some trains in. <clears throat> and this one is sad. <laughs> Very sad. You will be getting to... I think they're all the way at the bottom because they're not actually working yet. These I can't get to, but I can get to... Where are they? What are they called? That one. Yes, that one. Go here. Be full. Go to... This one. Be empty. Yes, and this is the one I need a lot of. Uh, how did that not work? Oh, it is working. Uh, okay, it was probably because this one was just wasn't placed by the time we did that. All right, what we're also going to do now is, uh, now that we have this part done, I am going to do this here, because we're not going to be to this right now or anytime soon so let's make sure that we get all of this up and running oh the last one might be a bit questionable but all of this is good and then we have these but we can copy that from this location i'm not going to make a dedicated blueprint of this this is just yeah copy come on come on, come on. Is that it? Nope, it's not it. How is it not it? How is this not it? There. There. And that was the three we needed at this location. And we'll go to here. Good. And we'll eventually also get this part, but since we still have a bit of a, a mess over there that there needs to be cleaned up, then it's going to take a while. So this uh, will get our robots busy again. And is there anything we're missing? Yes, there is. We are missing absolutely a ton of train loaders there. They'll go in here. I'm kind of feeling that maybe I should have more trains in stock. So I'll take this part and I'll go to... Okay, where can I go to that isn't kind of in the way of everything? Uh, nowhere. I don't want this being trying to start unloading our train. Okay, I'll just get it here because nothing is working anyway. I mean, it's not working until I have trains coming in. And this is also kind of sad that it doesn't work, but it also makes sense. What? There we go. And I also need another one, I guess, up here. There. All of this is... Right, that, that was the problem. There. All right. All of this is working. So this can start mining whenever trains come in. And that's going to be the main issue with the lack of trains. What we are going to do here is we are going to get... First of all, we are going to get you back into the main network. There we go. And I am now up here. Oh, that's kind of... 
funny how this one is not working. It will work once I do that. Okay, so let me get some trains. Let's get some of those trains here. Wow, that's a lot of attacks coming in. Where are my spider trans? Uh, they're down here. Wow, they even punched a full hole here. Good stuff. Uh, at some point, soon-ish, I guess, we'll uh, kill all the riders, spiders. I'm just, I'm just saying it. If we want to keep scaling up, at this point, they're not really doing anything except munching on our updates. Oh, we have iron problems. That's foreseen. Uh, what we want to do is I want to get a design and I maybe I have it in my buffer. Let me just try and see. Nope. Not in my buffer. No, unfortunately. So we are going to take a train. Ah, you know what? I'll, I'll build the train here. Good old fashioned train, and uh, that's going to be starting from the back. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that one. I'm going to get one in here. Only one in each. There. And is this available? It kind of is. I'm going to take all of this. And you maybe should go out. I don't know. Inventory full. This part should now go to here. Full. There. Empty. Great. Except I need this to be blueprinted. And one more. Need to make sure that I'm close so that I can build it. Uh, actually, I don't think that's a good idea. But we'll uh, send them out. And that actually ruins all of the remaining ones I have. So I'm going to be going down here, grabbing more, sending the train home. That's good. And you go home. And don't run me over. That should also make sure that there's another supply train coming in. Let's go up here and simply rate that supply train as it come in. There we go. Uh, can I rate it even more? No, not really. And I'll go up to this location and then build this part here. This will be train number six. That'll be train number seven. And train number eight. Once those are out, I can ship them off. Train number eight. Can I build more? No, I cannot. So I'm going to have to get my... Well, you know what? I can always do this part and that one and then go... Uh, hold on. I'll just go home here. I'll just go into that location. That should be fine. All right, this is starting to work because we at least have eight of those trains. So that's good. Uh, you are being replenished, I would imagine. And that means you can start working on the next thing that needs to be uh, converted. That was this one here that we need to convert. Yeah, this thing is like, do I want to convert it into steel or do I want to convert it into a big iron? But I don't think I can big make that in a big iron place here. So I think this one has to be worked into a steel location. And I also think that, honestly, everything here has to go. How bad is it? Uh, that's probably really bad. Yeah. Um, maybe the easiest way to do this is actually by including this into that location, that location, and then delete all of this in the middle and delete all of this. And then go back here and take that one and that one. Just so that, okay, this is not even necessary, but just, just so that it's uh, it's also my house robot that helps steal 
I mean, uh, deconstruct this along with that. Good. So, um, this is the one that isn't quite working. We are now back at home and we are not getting enough wagons here. Whoa, I guess there was just another red train coming in. Good. Let me see why the wagons are not working. There must be a wagon build somewhere. That one. You're probably not building enough. Yeah, I don't care. I'm just build 100, all right? And build them faster. Is it? Is that just... Um, it's just not shoveling in fast enough. There we go. Now it's shoveling in fast enough. There we go. This should be a lot easier. It's really weird that it's not able to keep up, but... Maybe if I do this one and this one, and this one will do everything except... Then over time it'll be fine. But I also think that we have enough here. Uh, how many do I need? Well, I'm not even getting them into my inventory. There. 40. Do I have 40? Yes. Alright, let's head out. But not on my uh, little extra train, but let's take the right one again. The correct one. And we have warnings on iron. That's not a big surprise. I'll build it in here. Not a surprise that we have iron issues, but I do think that it'll work okay. I also know that I'm not monitoring this uh, part. And the problem is, I can't really monitor this part. If you have a good idea for how I could monitor it, by all means, let me know. That would be super nice. Um, what I then also want to do is make sure that we have this part here. If I look at this, this has 21 tra- uh, Okay, not this one. This one maybe. This one has 21 trains available, but they are... Oh, oh that was so close to me being uh, idiotic on this. There. And... Yeah, so now this is all converted. What we can start to see is that these trains here are... Uh, maybe some of them can't... This, this one, it can't go anywhere. So I'm actually going to take you out and get you back to that location. Hopefully I'll remove, remember to deconstruct it. Um, let's see. I am here. Good. Grab that. As much as I can take. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Yeah. All right. That's uh, replenishing one of those trains. And does that mean that there are more trains coming? Yes, there are. They're actually returning now some of those trains so they have to be a bit more careful and there's one more coming in and once that's in then i think i'll stamp down all of this there this gets us two with these all being placed there and the next one Whoa, that's weird why that happened. Oh no, it's not weird that it happened. There should not be construction bots in here. Why are there a million construction bots in this area? And also a way too many logistics bots. Because I did that part. And let me look. It is an isolated network. Yes, good. All right, these need to go in. This is up to 12. That's good. Uh, do we have anything else coming in behind? Nope. Get it. And that one isn't being... Okay, so what I have now is... 13. 13 trains on this. And this part also needs to go all the way up to 20 to 30 trains so what i can do is actually i can take one of these trains and then i can start converting oops i don't want to show that uh converting for example that one that's going to be 32 trains so when we look at some of those locations that still have some of the old ones oh that's not still one of the old ones uh are you still one of the old ones no you're not all right so i don't have any of the old ones uh available Wow, what is what is that? What's going on here? And but I do probably have that in various locations that require 
iron there could very well be some iron location or iron trains that are simply stuck because they can't go back like that one for example so i'll do that and then it'll cut it'll convert into what are the other types of trains and um what else can we do if we see other trains that are kind of stuck like that one for example i'll also convert it and basically i'm going to move transition from having the other the old type of trains to having new types of trains so if we have any iron trains that are stuck somewhere we'll just convert them into something else like this one for example there we go you're converted and these ones as they empty will also be very very much stuck And I think that, let's see, how much did we actually have at the very beginning here? The, so we saw we saw that we needed five of these modules, but that means, and we had eight at that point, but now we need, we need half as many because the modules are twice as big, obvious. So we'd only need three modules, two and a half modules. And we actually have three modules once this one is built. So what I need to do is I need to get this part. Get all of the trains you have here. Thank you very much. And send you home. So we can also get some more fuel inbound. Which we'll steal as soon as it comes in. And it should be right, right behind. Oh, it's all the way down there because I don't have any. Yeah, okay. That's kind of sad. Doesn't matter. I'll take all of that. And how many more can we make with this? A few more, but not as many as we'd like. So, I will go up here. We have 13 already. So, if I could build four more, that would be excellent. Unlikely. That is 14. That is 15. That is 16. And please give me 17. Sad. Sad. Very sad. I'm going to go over here and just wait in this location. Until I get the other ones. But, you know, you can go in. And you can go in. And you can go in. And basically at this point we have 18 trains. Well, that's because this counts as one of that count as one. But there are only 17 trains here. That's good. All of this mess is munching on our updates. So that is a thing. The Spidertrons are kind of building. Can I do that? Just... Oh, they can't build... They don't build the spider... The Robopores. If they did, that would be lovely. Because I really don't want... There. Uh, I really don't want them to start doing exactly what they're doing now. Just eating eating that stuff. There. I want to get you. There. With this one built, then we actually have now house robots can do the deconstruction here. And that's what I wanted to see. So we need to get this one converted. There's a lot of conversion going on here at this moment. Uh, but I think we're actually getting there, kind of. How many do we have? We don't have a damn thing here because nothing is coming in. But I think that we will get enough trains. So what I want to do now, it seems like we have a... Okay, hold on. How many of the trains do we have here? We have 25 and need to get all the way up to 50. So what I want to do is I want to convert some of my old iron location into new iron location. That means stuff like this train, this station here, right? So where do we have another one? That one is now converted into new. That one is converted into new. That one is converted into new. So what we have now is is uh, a more what about over here we'll also convert this one shit was that correct yes <laughs> and that one and that one so that's more iron that converts from being the old iron uh, requester to being the new iron requester and uh, we can also do that one that's just never going to work again but uh, still and then we, if we go down this path as well, I think I want to convert pretty much all of it, if I can. That one as well. You are actually coming in. That's nice. So once you're done with that, you will never come back. And these are not there. Uh, this and location. 
is good. And I don't have any other iron locations, do I? No, not at this location. Good. So what I also need now is to convert some more trains. That is, again, here. Not really very important, but hey, get that. The interesting thing is then the question of, well, how many do I have left of the old type anymore at this point? For example, we now have... I don't think we actually have anything left of the old anymore. Not at least intentional, for sure. I wonder if I misclicked some of this. I might have something over on this side. Uh, that's totally understandable if we do. Like that one. And that one. Which will now be converting from that one as well. And this is the same on this side here. And we have a lot of trains that we now need to convert. That. That. And anything else? I, uh, that must be here as well. Good. Now, upwards to this location. And now we need to look for trains that are stuck. Or well, not quite stuck, but almost stuck. Like that one. You are now a new type of train. Where are you going? Yes. And here? Nope. Because we don't really have a lot of those iron locations left anymore. So we don't want them to be stuck. Uh, let's see. We can find it. That one is interesting how it just passed straight through that. That just doesn't make any sense. I wonder what that train is actually like. Ah, that's an old school train. Come on. Where are you going? Now you're a new school train. Woo! -hoo. And let's see if we have other stuff that's getting kind of stuck. Nope. Hmm. Okay, where do we find them though? Where do we find them? Because we did look at sort of down here. We had this one being stuck. Now that's not stuck anymore. Anything else? No. All right. So let's take stock of how much, how many of the different trains. So this looking at trains, we now have that one. We have 28 trains. So I need to convert two more. And we have 17, 17 and well, 18. But that's kind of because this is uh, just broken. But it'll be 17 trains now. Ta-da. All right, let's look at that again. 17, 17, 17, 28. This needs to be 30. I want one more. And that, those trains, those trains are the ones we're looking for. Ah, these are the ones. Where are they? There. All right. Anyone who's, who looks stuck and useless, you are stuck and useless, right? No, not really. That's actually weird. And this is a... Oh, this station has not even been converted. Okay. And now they have this. And that gets converted. And this gets converted. So this is like uh, chasing it all over the place. And go back to stations. How many stations do we still have that is called the old iron station, right? That one. We still have... We have zero of those. That's excellent. Zero stations with zero trains. Why is it then? St oh, right. There's one. Ha. There's the uh, hub. I'll actually keep that. I'll actually keep that. For a bit, at least. Because if that runs out, then we'll see it. And that means we need to go on stage trains. These ones. I th think that... Well, first of all, I want to take... Copy. And then trains here hmm. that one good and there all right so now we have exactly 
the 30 trains we need, 17 for each of the feeders, 10 for each of those, and that also means these nine actually have to be, uh, yeah, uh, replaced. Oh, wow, that is not good, this one. I'm gonna have to convert you to there, even though it's gonna be one too many. But I can't have things just being stuck in the middle of the road. There is this one also stuck, but it's not stuck in a bad position, so... Ah, uh, I'll get it, but it's not good. And maybe it actually is okay. The thing is, like, I have nine parking spaces up here. So the question is, how many do I want in total? Um, Twelve might be okay. Nine is definitely not enough because we'd rather really want a train for each one. But we also don't want to have trains stuck at unloading locations, not being able to get out of that. Uh, and we have now zero locations this one is obviously going to be a problem for iron, but can we get a more sensible definition of whether it is actually a problem? Like, for example, how would I... Yeah, maybe I could monitor how many of these trains are ready to go out. Like, that's weird, right? This comes in, it is actually full, and it goes out again. So it looks for me like there is a desire for trains and... I need to find a way to monitor how many trains I actually have available with the new setup. This one will be built by the time we're done. This one is also ready to get uh, converted into two steel facilities. I'm pretty sure we can make two steel facilities out of this, and we definitely want to do that. Maybe one here and one here. I don't know. Um, and we've now fixed all of the iron up to this location. We now have three big iron locations. I don't know what I'm going to do with this because it's kind of too big of a location to convert. So that was a, a continuation of the conversion. I don't know how we are going to con continue on this, but uh, I do need to start or do need to continue to converting while while we uh, while while still maintaining our production pace. What I am going to sort of end up with is looking at the power. How is the power looking? Okay, we are using quite a lot. We are at nine hundred thousand solar panels. That's one thing, and the other one is on the production. How is the science looking at this point? It's uh, looking rock steady in at 5K. So we are maintaining our science despite the fact that we've done a gradual transition of all of our iron smelting and have not run out of anything yet in, while doing that. That's pretty damn good. These are some bigger builds, and I like him, and we're definitely going to have more of those. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for following this series as it... Uh, goes longer. I think that when we're done with the conversion, we will be able to do some new and cool things uh, in terms of scaling up, but uh, we need to get there. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care, and as always, stay effective.